Hi. Um, so this is take two of my vlog. I actually just finished talking to the camera for a really long time and then I totally messed up and I just, whatever, I'm just starting over again. So happy Thursday, everybody. Um, I'm actually recording this on Wednesday, but for all intents and purposes, this is Thursday. So I wanted to tell you what's going on if you didn't already know. Tomorrow, I am going to see the Oprah Winfrey show with my sister who pulled off a miracle and got us tickets um, because of her watchful eye. She noticed that they were looking for um, fans of Liza Minnelli uh, for the Oprah show. She's in her 25th season. It's her last season and um, we're going to the show tomorrow, Friday, tomorrow. So a little background about this, how it, this is how exciting this is. When I first moved back, I'm from the Chicago area, but when I, then when I was a teenager, we moved around a little bit. When I finally moved back to this area with Jim, um, to the Chicago area, even though we were in uh, Wisconsin, just over the border for a couple of years, it was 1991, and um, I, was, I was home during the day watching Oprah every single day. Her show was only officially, the national show I think was only five years old. And so it wasn't a big deal. It, it was a big deal, but it wasn't like it is today. And this was before the internet. Can you imagine? Think about that for a second. Um, so I really wanted to go to see the Oprah show really, really badly because I lived in the area now and I could go if I could get tickets. Well, before internet, you had to what? Call. And you had to dial and dial and dial and dial. I was on the phone for weeks. I would spend an hour or two uh, when I was trying to get tickets. I would spend an hour or two redialing, hitting redial, whatever, constantly busy signal. Finally, after a couple weeks of this, I gave up. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm never going to get tickets to Oprah. Well, so then the show blew up, of course, and I knew I was never going to get, I really was never going to get tickets to Oprah. And really, I stopped trying because whatever. I stopped trying, but I've always wanted to go. But if, you know, if you don't try, you can't go. Anyway, I stopped trying. My sister didn't. <coughs> Actually, she wasn't actively trying, but um, until the other day when she, again, happened to hear, they were looking for Liza Minnelli fans. She sent in an email and we are going tomorrow to see Liza Minnelli on the Oprah Winfrey show. I'm so excited. I can't even believe it. I'm trying to figure out what to wear. They said wear bright colors because they look good on television. I'm not really excited about being on television, to be honest. I know, you know, it's not like I'm going to be on stage or anything with Oprah, and I may not even get a camera shot at all. But just in case, they want you to be wearing bright colors because they look good. Um, so I am just trying to figure out what to wear. I'm not going to stress out about it. Whatever. I'll probably wear a nice pink shirt. So if you watch the show, look for me. I'll be the one wearing pink. Maybe, unless I change my mind. Um, but anyway, we were talking at work um, about this on Tuesday. And uh, like I said, her, her season just started. 25th season, final season. This is a huge deal that I'm going to the show. Well, on the first day of the season, um, the pr season premiere show uh, was on Monday. And John Travolta was on. Don Johnson was on. Paul Simon was on. And she told her audience her audience full of ultimate viewers, that's what she calls her biggest fans, um, she was taking them all to Australia for eight, I think it's eight days in December, and everyone went nuts, which I'm going to give you a link to that after you watch this. You can watch that, but then there's something I want you to watch in between. So anyway, I don't know if she's going to be giving away stuff. I don't know if we're going to get a Liza Minnelli CD. Speaking of that, we called our mother on a conference call the other night to tell her that we were going to go to the show, and we felt really bad because our mom can't go. Um, and she was really worried when we, we did the three-way call because we've never done that before. And she was like, what? What's the matter? And so we kind of, he, we're going to see Oprah with Liza Minnelli. And our mother goes, you bitches, which I thought was, um, while very funny, Kind of a surprising response from our mother, but that's okay. We're over it. <laughs> it gave us a good laugh. Um, but anyway, so I promised her that if we get Eliza Minnelli CD at Oprah, that I would send it to her in the mail this weekend. And if we don't get one at Oprah, which is totally fine, um, I will go and buy it for her and send it to her, which is kind of not a really good consolation prize, but 
it's all we can do because she doesn't live in the area and can't go with us. Um, so anyway, what I'm thinking about is what if, I mean, I'm not saying that we're going to get a trip because Oprah's not going to be giving away trips every day, but what if we get something really big? How am I going to react? Is that something you can control? I want you to discuss that. Can you control that? Do you think those people in Oprah's audience are like that all the time? I don't think so. Now, we come from a family where you really, really appreciate a gift. Um, really appreciate it. Like, you don't just open up something and go, oh, thanks, that was nice. We're like, you know, oh, wow, that was really nice of you to, you know, I just love the color, you know, whatever. We're very, you know, we really, really want to show our appreciation. Not in a fake way, in a genuine way. Um, and uh, we, we tend to get excited about things. So I'm a little worried. What if... What if I make a complete idiot of myself on TV? I'm probably the only person who worries about that. Um, the only person who goes to see a live broadcast of Oprah show who's going to sit there worried about how I'm going to react if we get anything. What if I underreact? I don't know. Should this even be something that I'm bothering myself with? Probably not. Um... I don't know, but maybe I should stop watching videos of Oprah's audiences reacting to things. If we don't get anything, totally fine with it. The experience of going is great. I've waited 20 years to go, so it's going to be awesome. But um, just to give you guys a laugh, I found while I was at work on Tuesday, um, we found the the video of the parody that Saturday Night Live did of Oprah with um, Maya Rudolph as Oprah doing her favorite thing show. It is hysterical. I've watched it about 10 times this week. And the funny thing is, after we watched that at work, we watched the video of Oprah giving her audience the trip to Australia on Monday. The reactions are almost identical, and it is so funny. So for a laugh, click on my links. That'll be right down here below the video just for a laugh, and then picture uh, me and my sister doing that in the audience. I don't know. I don't, like, what if I mouth something to my sister, like, or, you know, some other, you know, something a little bit, I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, I, it looks like there's cameras everywhere to catch everything. You can see a woman in the Australia video, you can see a woman mouth, she's mouthing bigger than New York, bigger than New York, but you know, no sound. So, but what, what are the cameras going to capture of us? I just don't know. And I think I'm kind of obsessing about it. Um, so I'm going to let you discuss. I'm quirky this way. It's, I'm kind of ashamed actually that I'm putting this out there, but I imagine that some of you are a little bit entertained. Um, no, I hope that some of you are a little bit entertained, but anyway, um, thanks for sticking with me on this little, uh, whatever you want to call this, this vlog. Uh, I'm glad I spoke this instead of writing because I think this turned out maybe a little bit better, even though it's taking you forever probably to watch it compared to reading. Sorry. Um, but I got to go. So thanks for watching. Um, now watch both links that I'm giving you. I couldn't embed either one of them. So you're going to have to click away. They'll open in a new window. And that's it. I'll have news from Oprah when I get back and I'll tell her that you said hi. All right, we'll talk to you soon, or I will, whatever. Who's we? Me, myself, and I. I'll talk to you later, guys. Have a good day. Bye.